I blame Boonan for getting all the spotlight from Hecky. This should have been his time, damn it. His time is now. Sometimes you just can't get an easy win. It was a sign of greatness for the most interesting man in the world. But I guess he's too interesting to receive any of it. Unlike Shin, it's going to take a lot more for Heki to gain a badass finish. This chapter ignited his army in peril from the dread commander, Bunin. After three panels of deaths with Bunin army, Heki army gained very close to the headquarters. Clearly, they have the utmost momentum. But this is Kingdom, so you know something bad is going to happen. The scene plays out like an extended version of the last chapter's ending. Only this time, the hype has realized Heki is still the underdog despite being very close to Boonan. But he has grown great confidence that he and his men can succeed. That was a mistake. Once they got close, the atmosphere shifts drastically. No longer an equal or slight Heki's advantage battle. It's purely one-sided and Boonin easily got the upper hand in a matter of seconds. You could say Heki activated his trap card. He's completely overwhelmed by how Boonin army easily flipped the switch. Hell, one grunt ambushes Heki and overpower him to make him flip. Damn. This is hurting my inner fandom of his. As you can guess from the last chapter's cliffhanger, this indeed turned out to be a bait for Heki to bite. His army faces the Chunron of infantry, believing they can slow them down, but they are easily overpowered in a cruel way. The three panels of deaths is now reversed, only there's no rebound coming from this slaughter. Have some mercy, Hara. What gave Chunron a power boost? Actually, that's not the case. At least Heki is smart enough to realize his faults and why Boonin army is all of a sudden 10 times stronger. You guys are giving him a credit for that. It's just his overly confidence blinded him from seeing what's really happening in the field. In his defense, Boonin doesn't look like a guy who is smart enough to save the best for last or rather hide them for a surprise. Basically, he was holding his elites for last once his enemy is close enough to enter a slaughterhouse. Well, so much for looking derpy, that geely fellow looks freaky with his stitched up face that almost looked like he stole someone else's skin. Anyway, he reveals that Boonin is the type of guy who enjoys giving his enemy hope only to get crushed easily, leaving no one alive. He doesn't have to do anything, he can just watch like a show. It's simple but intimidating to please the hater and shame the fans, Boonin sees no worth of Hecky at all. So they would treat him like a pawn, shredding his face beyond recognition. Quite the savage you are, Hara. Before the fear factor kicks in for Heki's demise, the Mirror Tribe thankfully shows up to balance out the field. If you want a fierce entry, take note, Heki. They were stationed on the right flank, but here they are, killing and essentially saving Heki army. Even though Kitari denies it, but whatever. So long the man of the hour lives for another chapter, I'm fine with that. Despite the depressing showing of Heki in combat, better redeem Hara. I do have to credit him for analyzing the situation clearly. While his men were having a hard time to describe the battle like the Mirror Tribe is losing or they're more or less equal, Heki can see that they have the advantage because of Katari and Katari leading their men. It got to the point that Boonin no longer enjoys laying back, now entering the battleground. That is an impressive work right there. Hara threw a bone at Heki by having Katari acknowledging him and his men for their hard work. How charming of her. I'll take it. She does give them a credit for keeping it up, so it's not like his work went in vain. Besides, he fought against actual Chunron cavalry, just not the elite level, that's all. She and her brother really have grown on me. I seriously hope this portion of the battle doesn't kill them. Then, I had to reconsider Heki entirely. Logically speaking, when you enter the battlefield with all of your men already fighting, you would think you will enter with close range combat. Boonin, however, doesn't see it that way. Instead, he gets close to the field, but bring out his archer group and fire at the field, which includes his own elite group. I can understand sacrificing your normal grunts with that strategy because a person can be a prick, you know, but your elites? I guess he is derpy. 
It's not really a bad strategy, but it's rather unorthodox considering who's involved. The only bad part is this attack can't easily aim for the Mira tribe since they're busy struggling with the Chumro infantry, which means there's a good chance the siblings will be open in the field for a kill. Since Heki is out in the field and so Boonin and his attack, now it would be a good time to aim for the head. I want him to get his first major kill, damn it. This was a pretty decent chapter that set up the ground for a spotlight. I'm not sure it would be Hacky's time or not, but it's right there. Boonin does pose a threat, leaving me wondering if we will see the other brothers in action as well. The art is pretty solid with great emphasis on the magnitude of the battle. It won't be long now before the rise of Hecky will emerge. That or maybe more downfall. I hope not. And that will do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know a lot of fans want to go back with Shin, Ohan, and the other characters that really means a lot. And yeah, Heki is not the most interesting man. I'm really kidding. Maybe, maybe not. But really, I think you should give it a chance. The volume doesn't need to be that explosive with all day with Shin. And besides, he has a masterful moment. And that's already good enough. Now you can just rest and let the other characters do the work. And who knows, maybe Hara is being very serious with Heki's character time. Maybe it will be his death. Maybe he will have a grand victory that will surprise everyone. I don't know. We'll see. What do you think of the chapter? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.